Light Finance. The Hello, it's a Tuesday, January 2nd, and it is the time to make the first forecast for the first week of the new year that just started. So first things first, uh, this time we are beginning with a Tuesday, since on Monday there were no major macro data publications. Today most likely there will be no action because of holidays in a couple countries like Japan for example. But still, we will get manufacturing PMIs from major economies, uh, which are one of the key data that the traders and investors are watching. On Wednesday we will get the ISM manufacturing PMIs from the US and FOMC meeting minutes. So the fun should begin at this point. On Thursday, another round of PMIs, this time from the services sector. Apart from purchasing managers index figures, we will get inflation data from Germany and crude oil inventories. On Friday, inflation data from the Eurozone and as any first Friday of the month, we will get the non-farm payrolls. Okay, uh, now we can move on to fundamentals where today we will discuss gold. So the precious metal easily consolidated above the psychological level of 2000 an ounce for the first time, before it stayed shortly above it and then returned to its previous levels. The current trend is a good omen for bulls. They can boast a 14% rise in gold value since the beginning of 2023 and the first closure in the green zone since 2021. What's in store for the XAUUSD in 2024? Where, if the Fed's optimistic scenario about a soft landing plays out, the tailwind which began in October will continue backing gold next year. However, Wells Fargo believes a soft landing is a mere step to GDP growth or a recession. In the first case, US inflation will accelerate again and the Fed will resume its tightening cycle. In the second case, the economy will cool down, provoking a serious fall of the Fed funds rate. Which scenario will play out? Yo, the longer the market remains sure about a soft landing, the better for the XAUUSD. In this case, US employment figures for December close to or slightly worse than Bloomberg's forecast and a further slowdown of US inflation are clues to buying gold. If labor market data worsens significantly, even CPI and PCE's consolidation on the current levels won't pose a problem to the XAUUSD's bulls. In that scenario, the odds of US economic recession will rise and the Fed will have to drop the funds rate as early as in March, like the market wants. So growing employment and inflation will be the worst layout for gold, signaling that the US economy is on the rise and a soft landing won't occur. Consequently, US bond yields will grow, the US dollar will strengthen and gold will decline in value. So to think about selling gold only if the US economy continues muscle flexing. Otherwise, we should exploit a potential correction to $2,060 and $2,035 an ounce to go long with targets at $2,100 and $2,145. And that will be basically it for the first video of this new 2024 year. So have a good one guys and till next one.